guess what today is? It's Monday morning. And Monday morning is the greatest morning of all mornings. And today is the first, actually yesterday, Sunday, is the first nor'easter, I guess you could say, of the year. If you don't know what a nor'easter is, it's when the wind's blowing from the northeast and it makes it ultimately nice and comfortable and cool. The wind's about 15. It's, it's doable. I'm leaving sort of uh, around 9 o'clock because I'm going to let this tide go down. I only have one guy today, a smart man. He wants to learn how to float rig fish, do a little trout fish, and we'll see how that works out. This morning on the Noble Weather Radio, they said that the Mayport jetties temperature was down to 78 on the surface. Well, of course, because it blew all the cooler water in here. But we'll see how today works, and uh, all I can tell you folks, it's go time. From here on out, um, this is it. This is what I wait all summer for. This is what I sweat to the oldies for. Uh, don't need to, from here on out, don't necessarily need to fill the live well full of croakers to try to catch a trout. Still could use croakers and mullet, but I got a bunch of shrimp, I got the float rigs, got a couple bottom rods, and we're going to see what it's all about today. So, if we get anything decent, I'll turn the camera on again. If not, oh well, this is a little vlog. Alrighty, here we go. I wanna go fishing, cause it takes my stress away. I wanna go fishing, try and cast my blues away. I wanna go fishing, I don't want to watch the clock. I wanna go fishing, I don't ever wanna stop. Oh, it's so nice and cool. Oh, man. Got to wash all the sand off. Yeah, after the storms, the sand seems to pile up right here. Got to do a little full wheeling when you pull your boat out of the water. Kind of a pain in the butt because you're constantly in sand. Got to wash my shoes off. My boots. My extra tufts. All right, well, I'm looking forward to today, but we'll see what the story is. There she be, folks. Nobody's ever even mentioned to me, hey, you got your boat name on now. Nobody's even mentioned it. I went almost 12 years and I stuck it up there, stuck a boat name up there in the bow because, like I said, this is a working boat. If I put it anywhere on the side here, it'll get all beat up because I'm always banging into stuff. And I put it right here too. I don't know if anybody has noticed. Nobody's said a word to me out on the water even. But that's okay. I really like I really like that wolfy howling. This looks like water. Yeah, baby. Or that could be jetty rocks. Yeah. Alrighty. Well my guy ought to be here very shortly. Ready to go. Got a really good night's sleep. This is the uh, official Just Grab It Glove Jetty Wolf. Jacksonville, it's easier here. Nothing is easier here. Absolutely nothing when it comes to fishing. CaptainDaves.com, Cast Net Bucket. 
decided to put it up here. Yeah. Go find a boat with anchor storage like this, folks, and I don't even have an anchor in it. I could carry like four more anchors. Got this at Home Depot. Got the black bucket, which believe it or not, the black bucket. I didn't know this until I've been experimenting. The black bucket. When I cast net bait, I fill it full of a little bit of water. And the black bucket, they don't seem to be as jumpy. You know, mullet love to come flying out of the bucket all the time. Like when I'm up there, when I'm up right there at the dock and I'm casting that mullet right in here in the morning. Especially like now on this high water. Yeah, we're not leaving until like 9 because I wanted this water to start rolling out. I hate starting a trip when the water's not moving. I don't like that. But... They had this at Home Depot. Uh, the lid and the bucket. And just an FYI. Makes, and then I put a little rubber here over the handle. And then I put some retro ref reflective tape on here. Just whatever. Just to make sure people know it's mine. And, uh, makes for a great bait bucket and of course I got my my good old rubber ice cube make an ice cube bucket up there so they're still uh, dredging over there in the river right outside the boat ramp they've been in and out of here for months it seems like oh yeah boy this is going to be a beautiful day. This is going to be beautiful. It's cooler. I don't know if it's as cool as it was yesterday. I walked outside my back door at like 3.30 in the morning yesterday. In the, my BVDs. And let me tell you, it was chilly. But they said at the airport this morning... I believe they said it was something like 58 or 55 or something at the airport. So we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. All right. First trout. We just need a lot more of these, but that's a good size one. Look at that iridescence. Yeah. yeah. Got another one. We can't find any small ones, but we're finding nice big ones. Worst problems to have. Worst problems. Oh, yeah. It's purple. I uh, know. Glowing that, right yeah, in it's there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We're doing okay. Yeah. Now the tide's getting low. I've been telling everybody it's all about the low tide.